So something that is a super good solution for flow limitations. Um, if you ever have a flow, let's just run through this. This is the revenue calculations flow um, as of about a week ago. And we'll run this real quick. Now this is trying to run about 7,000 records. And it takes, takes a couple seconds, keeps going. And then it says limit exceeded. You or your organization has exceeded the maximum limit for this feature. Why is that? Well, Salesforce governor limits because they don't like to pick favorites and let us have whatever we want, even though we pay them a lot of money and make them a lot of money. But here's a quick little history of this or a quick little synopsis. Total of 100 SQL queries, uh, records retrieved, 50,000, number of DML statements like create record, update, delete record, things like that, 150. Total records processed in DML, 10,000, maximum CPU time on Salesforce servers. That's a big one right there. Um, total number of duplicate updates allowed in one batch, 12. And then general flow limits, here's another one, versions per flow, 50. Executed elements at runtime per flow, 2,000. Active flows per flow type, blah, blah, blah. You can see that Salesforce limits certain things. And the limit here um, is this loop. We need to loop through 7,000 records here. Loops exceed, cannot exceed 2,000 records. So what's the solution? And Jonathan Peckham, wonderful man he is, helped me to find this solution. So it's on uh, unofficialsf.com. And there's this cool Apex class that you can download and install right here. I'll have links to this somewhere so people can find it. Um, something that goes with it, you have to install these two packages as well. And if you try to install the first one, it'll tell you which ones you need to install. They're here. Links will be found as well. I feel like a YouTuber. Links in the description, guys. But super cool. Let's jump over to the good flow. And we can see here, we just bring in this Apex class, collection calculate. We tell it what object to point to, time entries. Tell it what we want to grab, dollar value. Tell it to put it into the list. This was already built into this flow because that's what we were doing. We tell it we want to add these values together. Policy for null and empty fields, use zero. That's specific to this Apex class. Um, it uses that as a parameter. And then we jump into advance, manually assigned variables, need to check that. And then output decimal result, total revenue this month. And so we basically add up everything in the list, all 7,000 records, spit it into this variable. And then we just let the flow decide um, how to do its transaction control. Now, there's a lot of documentation on this. We can do a lot of things, some multiply average, things like that. The cool thing about it, is it works. So let's just jump into here, click debug. Let's run this real quick. Might take a hot sec because 7,000 records and there you go. So you can see I got the Infinis scroll right here. It's a lot of records that it breezed through. Can't even get through all of them. And we can see we had a really good month, $7 million. But yeah, so this is one way you can get around the governor limits of Salesforce using Apex and not actually having to write any Apex downloading these packages into an org. Um, so yeah.